We're going to start by multiplying three digit number by a one digit number. We have 323 multiplied by three and I've indicated the ones in green, the tens in blue and the hundreds in red. So it's easier to see what's happening as we're multiplying. We take the number that we're multiplying by at the bottom and multiply it by each digit in turn above. So starting with 3 times 3, which is 9, then we multiply that 3 by the 2. Remember that that 2 actually represents 20, but because we're using a formal and more efficient method that needs to be quicker, it's absolutely fine to say 3 times 2, because that 6 will be in the tens column anyway, so it represents 60. The same when we multiply that 3 by the 300. We just say 3 times 3, and that's 9. And as long as that 9 is in the hundreds column, it represents 900. Our answer is 969. Here's one for you to try. Pause the video, have a go. 232 multiplied by 3. Multiply the 3 by the 2 first, and that's 6. Multiply the 3 by the 30, 3 times 3, that's 9. And because that 9 is in the tens column, it represents 90. Now the 3 by 200, 3 times 2 is 6, and because that 6 is in the hundreds column, it represents 600. 696. This time the numbers are a bit bigger and this means that we'll have to do some carrying. We do exactly the same as before, 5 times 7 which is 35. We have a two digit number. 35 has five ones and three tens. So we put the five ones in the ones column and we carry the three tens and we're going to add that to the next column. In the next column, we're multiplying 5 by 4. 5 times 4 is 20. We add on that 3 that we carried. We now have 23. And this time, we put the 3 in there and we carry that 2, which represents 200. Now we're multiplying 2 by 5, and that's 10. But we need to add the 2 that we carried over. That's 12. As there are no other digits to multiply, we just put the whole of that 12 in, and you'll see that we now have a 1 in the thousands column. Here's one the same for you to try. Pause the video, have a go. 4 times 8, that's 32. So we put the 2 in the 1s and we carry the 30. 5 times 4 is 20. We're going to add on that 3, that's 23. We put the 3 in there and we carry the 2. Now we have 3 times 4 and that's 12. We're going to add on the 2 we carried, that's 14. And we can put the whole of the 14 in because we don't have any other digits to multiply. And again you can see that we now have 1 in the thousands column. 1,432. Generally with these kinds of calculations, you get a word problem to go with it. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of those so you get the idea. The button factory produces 654 buttons every hour. How many buttons will it produce in seven hours? So the first thing here is to work out what the calculation is you're expected to do. We have 654 buttons every hour and we're going to multiply that 654 by 7. And now we do the calculation as before. 4 times 7, that's 28. We put the 8 in and carry the 2. 7 times 5 is 35. Add that 2, that's 37. So we put the 7 in and carry the 3. 6 times 7, that's 42. Add the 3 that we've carried over, that's 45 and we can put the whole of that 45 in. We now have 4,578 buttons made in seven hours. And here's one for you to try. The brick factory 
produces 589 bricks every hour. How many bricks will it produce in six hours? Pause the video, have a go. The calculation, 589 bricks in an hour, how many in six hours? 589 multiplied by six. Now we can solve the calculation. 9 times 6 is 54, put the 4 in the 1s and carry the 5. 8 times 6 is 48, 48 add 5 is 53. And 5 times 6, that's 30, add on the 5 that we carried, that's 35, and we put the whole of the 35 in. In 6 hours, the factory produces 3,534 bricks. This time we're going to do exactly the same, but we're using a four digit number to multiply by a one digit number. The bakery produces 2,468 cakes each day. How many cakes will it produce in four days? So we take the number of cakes each day, 2,468, and multiply it by the number of days we're calculating which is 4. 4 times 8 is 32, so we can put the 2 in and carry the 3. 6 times 4 is 24. Add the 3 that we carried, that's 27. 4 times 4 is 16. Add the 2 we carried, that's 18. We put the 8 in, carry the 1. And 2 times 4, that's 8. Add the 1 we carried, that's 9. 9,000 872 cakes would be made in four days. And here's one for you to try. The supermarket sells 6,349 tins of soup every week. How many tins of soup will it sell in eight weeks? Pause the video, have a go. The calculation is 6,349 multiplied by 8. 9 times 8 is 72. 4 times 8 is 32. Add 7, that's 39. 3 times 8 is 24. Add 3 is 27. And 6 times 8 is 48. Add 2, that's 50. No other digits to multiply, so we put the whole of that 50 in, and this time we now have a digit in the hundreds thousands column. 50,792 tins of soup are sold from the supermarket in eight weeks.